In an official press release, the Taiwan External Trade Development Council has confirmed that AMD's CEO, Dr. Lisa Su, will be presenting the Computex 2019 opening keynote on the 27th of May this year. During the keynote, AMD's president and CEO will be presenting a range of new technologies that will utilize the brand new 7 nanometer process node. Computex will officially kick off on May 27th in Taiwan at 10 a.m. The main event will be live streamed to the public and AMD's CEO will be presenting an opening keynote for that event. The AMD's keynote will also set the stage for next generation technologies announcements where Dr. Lisa Su can introduce their next generation 7 nanometer products, especially the Ryzen 3000 series processors and next gen Radeon RX Navi GPU based graphics cards. AMD confirmed that they will be introducing the said next-gen products, offering key details as to what the general audience should expect from their respective CPU-GPU lineups. Now we've been stating this for a while that AMD's Ryzen 3000 series and Radeon RX Navi GPUs always had their announcements planned for Computex 2019, but it looks like it may get a much later launch in July as previously reported. Looking at the current schedule and 7 nanometer roadmap, AMD could push the launch ahead and go live with these products at Computex 2019, but if that doesn't happen, we should expect to hear some good details, including a live demo of the final Ryzen 3000 series processor during the event. The AMD Ryzen 3000 lineup is based on the new Zen 2 core architecture, which is made possible with TSMC's bleeding edge 7 nanometer process node. And AMD has reaffirmed that their Zen 2 based Ryzen 3000 series processors for the AM4 desktop platform will be available in mid 2019. We are now hearing multiple reports of a possible launch in early July, and that might be it as far as the launch date is concerned for the new desktop processors. AMD has made significant changes to their CPU architecture, which helped deliver twice the throughput of the first generation Zen architecture. The major points include an entirely redesigned execution pipeline, major floating point advances with double the floating point to 256 bit and double bandwidth from load store units. One of the key upgrades for Zen 2 is the doubling of the core density, which means that we are now looking at 2x the core count for each co core complex or CCX. Zen 2 also introduces stronger hardware level enhancements when it comes to security, and this further solidifies AMD's CPU against enhanced Spectre variants, and these mitigations will be adopted fully into Zen 2. When it comes to Zen, AMD already had strong software level support when it came to security, and they have further enhanced it through low level software mitigations. So are you excited for Zen 2 based Ryzen CPUs from AMD? What are you running right now and what do you plan to upgrade to, if at all? Let us know in the comment section down below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.